Hello friends, welcome to N Universe Double Two. In this video, we will see what is the difference between compressible and incompressible flow. So let's start with compressible flow. So what is the compressible flow? Compressible flow. Compressible flow. is that type of flow in which density that is rho of the fluid changes from point to point or in other words we can say or in other words the density is not constant for the fluid so this is about compressible flow and mathematically it can be written as rho that is not constant and for example gases like air carbon dioxide etc are compressible in nature now what about incompressible flow incompressible flow so incompressible flow it is that type of flow in which the density is constant in which the density is constant for the fluid for the fluid flow at every point and mathematically it can be written as mathematically it can be written as that is rho that is constant and for example liquids are generally incompressible in nature so this is the introduction about compressible and incompressible flow and there is further compressible and incompressible flow are also defined on the basis of mesh number so right here the compressible or 
incompressible flows are also defined on the basis of that is match number it is denoted by m and it is also defined as match number that is the ratio of in russia force upon elastic force so here mathematically we can write it mathematically here this is m square equal to in the shear force that is rho l square v square this is we proved in our last video in laminar and turbulent flow and elastic force that is k into l square and here k this is the bulk modulus of the fluid and cancel out the common terms l square with l square and finally m square that is equal to rho v square upon k and uh, we can write it v square upon k upon rho because the ratio of k upon rho that is equal to a square and here a this is the speed of sound in the flowing medium so we can write it m square that is equal to v square upon a square because this whole term that is equal to a square and finally we have from here we can write it m equal to v upon a so this is the relation which gives another important definition of the match number and uh, we can write it on the basis of this formula the definition of match number that is match number it is the ratio of the fluid velocity to the velocity of sound in the flowing medium so here is some values of this match number if m is the match number if it is greater than 0.2 so then fluid is compress uh, fluid is considered to be compressible if m is less than 0.2 then fluid is assumed to be incompressible so from this relation we can say this match number is used to determine of compressibility in a particular gas flow and the flow 
classified into different reg regmes so if match number that lies between point 0.9 to 1.1 then it is called transonic flow if m is less than 1 and v is less than a then it is subsonic flow if m equal to 1 and v equal to a then it is sonic flow if m lies between 1 and 7 then it is supersonic flow so m is greater than 1 and less than 7 so in this way, uh, parameters we can say m is greater than 1 and less than 7 if m is lies between equal to or less than 7 or less than 10 if lies between this value then it is hypersonic flow and if value of m is greater than or equal to 10 then it is high hypersonic flow so friends and these all values these are very important from for the competition examinations so friends in this video we have learnt about what is the difference between compressible and incompressible flow and uh, if you will like this video please share with your friends and students and don't forget to subscribe and universe double two for getting the notification for uploading of videos on various topic of mechanical engineering thanks for watching have a nice day